Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Geelan for Syscon TV here at 12th Cloud Expo, Cloud Expo New York. And Gary Balabio is up next from Akamai, one of our favorites. Gary, good to see you. Good to see you too, Jeremy. It's been a long time. So much going on in that internet of ours, or at least I used to think ours, but it's mostly yours. Akamai is running how much of the internet, Gary? It's upwards of 30%, so it's not mostly ours. I mean, it's only upwards of 30%. I think that's up on the last time we spoke, if you don't mind my saying so. Um, it's certainly growing, but hey, you know, the internet usage is also growing as well with all these other initiatives going on, right? So. Okay, then. Let's just say that Akamai undergirds a large part of what other people think is just a public thing. So how does that work? I know you have to do a lot of evangelizing around this. It's seamless. We never hear about Akamai, see Akamai, and yet there you are. So what's the philosophy behind that? So it's true. I mean, a lot of end users are accessing content. They're going uh, to websites and they have no idea. They're probably traversing through the Akamai platform, probably you know, on a daily basis, if not at least on a weekly basis, you know, minimum, they're traversing through the Akamai platform. And the whole idea behind it was to really to optimize you know, users' experience, optimize traffic out of centralized environments, right, so they can reach a global audience. And the whole idea about it was to make it so that users had no idea. It's seamless to the end user, right? But the, uh, but the, the gains you know, to our customers were, were dramatic. You know, that was the whole idea behind it. And I know you just came from keynoting, you know, but why don't we hit some of those points, just the sheer growth of the internet. Let's nail some of those points. So what about just sheer number of users? What's Akamai's estimate? Sheer number of users. So from a sheer number of users, standpoint, we're projecting that by 2020, about 4.4 billion users, right, on the internet. And that's, you know, a tremendous amount of users running across the internet, right? And, you know, that's really good, uh, you know, obviously for all those businesses out there. And at the same time, users are connecting from all different types of devices. I think mobile is driving a lot of that adoption. Um, and, you know, it's resulting in a really exciting time for, for us, you know, as well as our customers and the end users out there. Right? And then let's look at it from the point of view of bytes, because I can't even master some of the levels of bytes that we're up to. So I'm going to hand over to you. So we are seeing uh, upwards of 27 million hits per second, you know, today on our platform. Um, we're also seeing upwards of 12 terabits per second. Uh, and if you don't know what that means, it's just a lot, right? We'll just summarize it as that, okay? An awful lot. It's a lot, yeah. <laughs> and it's increasing. I mean, is it going to double within five years, the way people are saying? Um, it might actually double even faster than that, right? So especially when you think about HD adoption, you think about all these, um, you know, large file downloads happening and, you know, the use, I mean, from our standpoint, we're expecting it to grow really dramatically and that's really exciting from an Akamai standpoint. Sort of the reverse of a half-life. It's a double life or something. Yeah, so we need a we need a new sort of, sort of law for it, I guess you know. Balabio's law has a kind of ring to it. I kind of like it, Joe. I think you you have a really good good point there. Something we should look into. Conceived here at Cloud Expo New York. Now, what is Akamai doing at a show like this? Because we've just said you're invisible and seamless, but here you all are, and everybody knows you, and you're obviously telling people and offering people things. So, what's going on? This is the interesting part about Akamai. So. We offer a complimentary service to you know, any sort of cloud offering, right? So if you're operating out of infrastructure as a service, if you're operating out of platform as a service, or if you're a SaaS provider yourself, right? You can leverage Akamai's capabilities to improve you know, congestion, com improve problems that you see on the internet, right? To basically uh, provide a better experience for the end users in terms of performance, in terms of availability, Right, security and reliability. These are all things that we do. We're optimizing that internet medium that's connecting users to those cloud infrastructures. And when you say free, you mean free? When I say free, I mean free. Did I say free? You did say free. <laughs> Is that what you heard? <laughs> but that's what you're offering. And it costs what it costs. It costs what it costs, absolutely. So um, there, there's certainly different ways, you know, that you can buy, you know, the Akamai service. Um, but that's what it is. It's a distributed platform, you know, runs as a service on the internet, not free. <laughs> there you are. That was just me mishearing. So let's look forward. Obviously growthful, obviously still popular, great brand strength. 
But how does one get up in the morning and advance the cause? I mean, it doesn't sound like you're just following. You really do seem to have this aggressive sense of if we educate, we will help it grow even faster. You're making your own problem, maybe, but is that how it works? Well, so I think from a high level, the, what we're seeing is we're seeing all sorts of, of trends. And, and you know, the great thing about Akamai is that anything that's happening on the Internet, you know, we can be part of, we can help enable, uh, we can make it faster, we can you know, bring it to market faster, right? So what we're looking at is, at least from an enterprise standpoint, how are enterprises adopting the Internet, the internet uh, utilizing the Internet, um, so when you think about you know machine to machine sorts of strategies, right? Uh, big data strategies, right? What can we do to help enable those sorts of uh, initiatives, right? Make them more alive. Make it tra make the transfer of large data through the internet, whether it's coming from machines or different office locations. Make it more reliable to help our customers reduce their costs, reduce the management uh, aspects of it. Um, uh, you know, to basically. Uh, improve it overall, right? That's kind of what we're going after. So we're looking at those types of initiatives. How are companies going to leverage the internet uh, for the different types of initiatives that are coming out, you know, down the line? And there's no possibility now, this is just physics, but there's no possibility of further acceleration, probably, maybe some nano, nanoseconds, but you're talking about simplifying and managing and transparency. Yeah, so, I mean, definitely from an enterprise standpoint, we're focused on cost reduction, uh, we're focusing on productivity increases, and we are focusing on, you know, improving the performance to help with that, right, be in line with that. And there's certainly more things that we can do uh, definitely research that we're doing to drive us towards an instant experience on the internet, right? So Actual real time. Actual real time, right? Which obviously is a great challenge, right? But there's always incremental steps you can take to make it faster, to make it better, right? And we're continuing on that path. If you want to join Akamai on its path, go to Akamai.com. I wonder where you should go next. Can you go to cloud? Uh, you can go to, I mean, slash cloud www.akamai.com. Uh, there's Terra Enterprise is basically um, our key service, uh, which we're, uh, we, we use to sell to sort of enterprise cloud initiatives. So you can go there. You can learn more about our offerings there. Fantastic. You've been invited by the product line director himself, Gary Balabio. Thanks so much for talking with us here uh, at uh, Cloud Expo New York. And uh, see you maybe in November in Santa Clara. Sounds wonderful. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching out there on the World Wide Web.